Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of chicken. Alright, well first off we're going to start off with the head. This up here is called the comb. And this, this particular bird has a uh, butter comb, a buttercup comb, sorry. You have the beak, which is you got a black beak. Uh, this here is getting closer. This here is called the waddle. And this white piece here is the earlobe. Of course, he has an eye. <clears throat> this here is called the hackle. And it's just a group of feathers. And if he was distressed, um, the hackles raise up in a cone uh, if he was to either fight a rooster or a predator or, or something those these hackles feathers would raise up here's his back this these feathers here are called uh, saddle feathers and so uh, they're really almost hair like very fine saddle feathers then we'll go into the tail uh, they have two sickle feathers, roosters do. This one here and one on the other side, which is this one there. They grow longer than the others. Um, and like a, a curved one. I think he, he's molting, so uh, they're not as, not as nice as they should be. All right, then we'll go on to the leg. Uh, you got the, the joint here. This here is the shank. This lower piece is the shank. Uh, most chickens have four toes. You have the three in front and then the one in back. There's five breeds of chickens that have five toes. And basically, uh, I know, buddy. Right in, right in here, there would be a, a fifth smaller toe. This here is actually a spur. Uh, almost all roosters have spurs. There's only one breed that I know of that doesn't, and that's the uh, Kubalaya out of Cuba. And then there's a breed of chicken called the Sumatra, where they have multiple spurs, and they have anywhere from two to five spurs. Uh, going up the length of their shank here and uh, the more the better uh, but they have to be complete spurs not a uh, they can't be fused together uh, so they'll have one two three so a good show Sumatra will have like five distinct spurs uh, leg colors for chickens this here is blue they also come in a, a willow green color yellow and then white and you might get some slight variation of that um, due to diet like if there's a if it's a yellow leg breed um, and their diet isn't you know might might be a nice rich yellow or it might be a, a light yellow almost a whitish color uh, some of your white birds they might have like a red line going down like a vein um, so there, there's some slight variation to that uh, back here up at the comb, I mean the earlobe, earlobes are either white or red uh, if, they, if they have one that's visible. A, few, a couple breeds don't have a visible earlobe. But uh, this bird here is a, a Mediterranean type class and with the white earlobe, uh, his genetics, uh, they're uh, a white egg layer. Brown, Red earlobes, they're generally a brown egg layer. This isn't always the case. It's about 95% uh, accurate. If you check their earlobe, you can tell what kind of uh, uh, color egg they lay. But uh, so that's a, a, a cool thing to know. Uh, I believe that's, oh, this is a birchen color pattern, by the way, if that's. And as for combs, there are seven different types of combs. Uh, he has, he's got a buttercup comb, there's a rose comb, single comb, mulberry comb, uh, uh, buttercup, rose comb, mulberry, single comb, pea comb, uh, a 
cushion comb, and uh, I guess I should have uh, checked my book before I did this, but uh, I can't remember what the, the, the last one is top of my head. It'll probably come to me after I'm done with the video. But, oh no, that's, that's the anatomy. I don't think I left anything out. Um, back there, there's the vent. Uh, tails are in a V shape. Uh, so a, a female, a female or a hen, it'd be my, it would be a lot more pronounced. Um, but this here, come on, buddy. The breastbone is, if you go right in between the two legs, there's this, uh, this bony ridge right here. And that's the breastbone. So if you're going to feel how uh, plump a chicken is, is you, is you can actually go back and on that breastbone, uh, you can slide your fingers down. Once you find the breastbone, you can find it. You can slide towards the body, and uh, if you can do that, it's 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 either very bony or very plump. You can feel the the, the meat on it. Most Mediterranean birds are, are very uh, lightweight and thin. He's probably only uh, probably around like five pounds. Um, so uh, right here is the the gizzard. Um, when they eat, they uh, the food goes into the gizzard and they ha they'll eat uh, stones and, and things to help grind up grain and, and bugs and stuff. So hopefully that ha I've covered everything for the anatomy. If there's anything uh, you have questions about, you can comment below and I'll, I'll uh, get to it. I'll probably actually, in the, the description of the video, I'll say all, all the comb kind since I forgot. Um, but all in all, that's, that's the anatomy. Thanks for watching.